CData Connect Cloud provides access to your Snowflake data in Google Data Studio. With Connect Cloud's data connectivity as a service, you can easily work with your cloud data in your preferred tools and applications. So let's say I want to view and manipulate data in Google Data Studio, but my relevant data is in Snowflake. There isn't any native connectivity between Snowflake and Google Data Studio, so that's where CData Connect Cloud steps in. So here I am at cloud.cdata.com, and I'll log in to the cloud-hosted service, Connect Cloud, using my credentials. Now I can see my Connect Cloud dashboard, but for right now I'm interested in the Connections tab, where I can establish a connection to my Snowflake instance. Here we see the connections that I already have configured, but there's no Snowflake connection here, so I'll create a new one. Here we see the long list of available data sources, and I'll just search for Snowflake to find it more easily. Now I can see the connection parameters required to connect to Snowflake, and I'll just enter them here one at a time. These values would come from within your Snowflake instance, through the dashboard, or whatever portal that you use to interact with your Snowflake data. They specify which data to access, and the credentials required to access it. Okay, so now that I'm wrapping up my simple connection parameters, I can then click Create and Test Connection to verify that everything is working properly. Okay, so that's a successful connection message, and now I know that Connect Cloud can talk to my Snowflake instance. So now it's time for the Google Data Studio part. I'll head over here to the Clients tab, which lists the data clients like Power BI or Google Data Studio, where I can interact with my Snowflake data. In this example, I'm interested in GDS, so I'll click here on the Google Data Studio tile. This takes me to a GDS page where I can create a new data source using Connect Cloud as the connector. I need to agree to some Google preferences here, and then after a moment, I can start building my Connect Cloud data source. First, I'll choose that Snowflake connection I just configured. Then I need to choose a table or data object within Snowflake to pull data from. I'll pick an accounts table, like my customer accounts, just as an example. And then here, I'll leave these default query parameters. I could add some filters, but for right now, I'll just pull all of the data from my accounts. Then I follow the normal GDS process of hitting connect. And then once it's populated, I'll verify my object types and their relationships. And for this example, I do want to set this billing state to the right geotype, which is subdivision one. And now I can generate a report from the Snowflake data that I've specified. So GDS is going to use the live connection to Snowflake from Connect Cloud while it's generating this report. And now we have our data, but the default dimension and metric don't really make any sense. So for this example, I'll swap in the billing state as the dimension and then the annual revenue as the metric. This will give us a more appropriate chart. All right, so this is our numeric chart with our specified dimension and metric, but let's put GDS to better use and make this a nice pretty geo chart. And there we go. Here we can see the geo chart with our accounts, annual revenue aggregated by state. And we can hover over New York to see its annual revenue, and then maybe Florida, and get a sense of our state-by-state -state distribution. This is just an example, of course, and I could continue using any Google Data Studio magic that I know with my live access to Snowflake data. And that's everything you need to know to establish live connectivity between your Snowflake data and Google Data Studio. To get started with CData Connect Cloud, visit cloud.cdata.com and sign up for the free trial. Thanks for watching. And as always, you can find more resources at cdata.com.